Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to show you why I love this Cuisinart 4 cup coffee maker. Model number DCC-450. So it does come with a little scoop, comes with a nice manual, comes with this 4 cup craft that's stainless steel and we take off that we can see inside there. This also has a warming plate and it automatically shuts the warming plate off after 30 minutes. So unlike a normal, where you have a stainless steel craft, this is not gonna keep it warm just from the stainless steel craft. You're gonna to have to use the warming plate also to keep it warm. So if we look on the side of the coffee maker, it's got a simple on off button with an LED light. When you wanna start the brew, you're gonna press the button, it's gonna start the brew, and then it'll automatically shut off after 30 minutes. But you can stop the brew anytime by pressing the button again. Here's what the bottom of it looks like, and it's 550 watts. So up here at the top, this is where the coffee maker or the coffee goes up here. We're going to open the lid. You've got your brew head. You're going to pour your water back here. It's got little steps to show you exactly how much water you've added. It's got this brew basket with a nice little handle. There's a plunger on the bottom because you've got pause brewing. Now this takes a number two cone filter. It does not come with these paper cone filters, but you will need to buy a, a one to four cup cone filter or they're called number two cone filters and the way we use these filters is you're going to separate them in the middle and then you're going to put it in there and make sure the filter is hugging the wall you're going to put the filter in here and you're going to put your coffee right here and again this is where the water is going to go let's go over size real quick so left to right is about five inches front to back is almost seven and a half and height wise you do have to be able to lift the lid all the way open and with the lid open it's right at 17 and a half so it will fit under a kitchen cabinet. So the coffee I'm going to use is Folgers Gourmet. It's ground at a medium grind. This is coffee for a normal uh, coffee drip coffee maker. It does come with a scoop. Uh, the scoop is one tablespoon. So if you lose the scoop, just use a tablespoon. Now this is a one to four cup coffee maker. You're going to put a scoop of coffee in for every cup you're going to brew. So if you're going to do the full four cups, you're going to put four of these scoops or four tablespoons. If you're only going to do three, just put three. So I'm going to do the full four cups. So we're going to put one, two, three, four. Now I got to fill it up to the four mark back here with water. Whatever amount of water you put back here is what it's going to brew every time you press the brew button. So if you only want a three cup uh, pot, just fill it up to the three mark. If you just want two, fill it up to the two mark. Okay, so I filled my craft up with just tap water. You can use filtered water. You're going to pour it in the back. Again, we're going to stop. It's going to get right to the four step. See, we're right at the four step. Okay, so make sure your craft lid is on. That's going to push that plunger up on the bottom of the brew basket. So push that in. Then you got to close the lid. Now the lid, you have to kind of snap close right there. It's very simple to operate. You're simply just going to come hit the button now and that light's gonna come on and it's gonna start the brew. So we're gonna time the brew. We're also gonna take some temperatures as it's brewing. Now one thing to be careful is this craft does get hot. That warming plate is going to heat up this outside of this craft, so that will get hot. Okay, so it's been brewing about a minute and a half. Let's just take a look, see how it's doing. So here's the temperature of the water in the top of the filter basket, it's about 178. And so the coffee coming out the bottom of the filter basket is about 175. It's a relatively quiet coffee maker. Towards the end, it does get a little loud. So the coffee maker does not beep at you to let you know that it's done. You'll just kind of hear it stop heating the water. So right about the six minute mark, it's all done with the four cups. So let's see how the craft pours. It pours really good. Let's see how hot that cup of coffee is. So that cup of coffee is about 166, 165. That's a very hot cup of coffee. So I've been drinking the coffee out of this coffee maker. It tastes really good. It makes a really good cup of coffee. That, that tastes and smells really good. And so with these four cups, Let's see how much coffee I've got left in the carafe. So I got enough for 
pretty much two uh, standard coffee cups of coffee. That's pretty much what four cups is. So be careful when you lift the lid, there could be some steam, but here's how it did with the coffee. It did not overflow the filter basket at all. Again, this red light's gonna stay on for 30 minutes after the brew. The coffee maker will shut off automatically, but if you're done with it, you can just press the button and turn it off yourself. Cleanup is very simple. It's got this little handle. You can take this, it's not gonna drip on you. Cleanup is very simple. All of these are dishwasher safe and they're BPA free. And this craft lid just snaps on real easy. This is a very nice coffee maker. I like that it shuts off automatically after 30 minutes. Um, it's BPA free. It's a small footprint. So if you don't drink a whole bunch of coffee, two, mainly two coffee cups of coffee, it looks really nice. And I think it makes a great cup of coffee. I'm really happy that I purchased this coffee maker. Thanks everybody for watching.